there is another simpler way. We can connect the graphics directly to the CPU memory bus. This eliminates the bottleneck and even simplifies the so software interfaces. And is also far cheaper to build things right onto the motherboard. With such an approach, the graphic performance can keep up with increased CPU performance. Let's see how one company has made this happen. Graphics applications, graphics user environments have become the mainstream, the cornerstone of business computing. But customers want more. They want more resolution. They want more performance. They've seen stunning graphics on engineering workstations. They'd like the same thing on their desk. We've looked at ways of doing this with the traditional graphics accelerators, and they seem to have topped out. There isn't a lot more you can do in that approach. So we're looking for something different. The simplest approach looks like it's the best. You can use the main processor to do all the graphics work, and as the main processors get faster, the graphics will get faster and better as well. So we think this is really exciting technology. We think this is the wave of the future. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Andy. Glad to have you here. It's great to be here. Before I'm going to ask you to show you what you got, let me talk to the audience for a minute. What you're about to see from here on until either the last computer stops or the show ends, whichever comes first, <laughs> is live demos and nothing but live demos. There may be a few engineers in the house here, and I ask for their sympathy because unlike Sheldon's household dog that sits when you tell it to sit and walks when you tell it to walk, computers are not quite as obedient. <laughs> so please, Bear with us, and if you have some sympathy left in you, root for us. <laughs> Charlie, what do you have here? <laughs> well, Andy, what I have here is a modern PC running an animation sequence. The processor in this system is a 50 megahertz 46, the fastest thing available. The graphics is being done by a traditional expensive graphics controller plugged into the I.O. bus. As you can see, the animation isn't moving very swiftly. It's crawling along, and you can actually see the screen being repainted. It looks about the right speed for walking around in the convex halls. Uh, <laughs> especially on Friday. Uh. <laughs> well, can we do better than that? I think we can do a lot better than that. That's what this system over here is trying to show, that we can get the graphics card out of the way and actually do better. Here we have a system that's identical to this system, except we've taken out the graphics card and we've put the graphics memory directly, directly on the processor bus like you were talking about a minute ago. As you can see, the animation is moving along much more quickly, much more smoothly. We don't see the screen being repainted. What happens to that when you load it down with other stuff? This system can do a lot more. It can do desktop publishing, it can do imaging, it can do compu computer-aided design. What I'm showing here, I'm adding five more animation sequences to the screen. There will be five additional windows, each one with their own animation sequence. It's bringing up a palette for each one, bringing up the image for each one. In just another minute or so, maybe even less, we'll see six animations going at the same time. And as you can see, the original animation is going along just fine. It's moving smoothly. We don't see the screen being repainted. So this is much better technology than the traditional approach. Someone I know would say it's really cool. <laughs> uh, would you recap for us? This one has a high performance add in board, and it, that? This has a high performance add in board, a traditional technology. This has uh, the m memory for the video directly on the processor bus. The processor is doing all the work, not only the computation, but actually producing the graphics on the screen. And as you can see, it works much better. Thanks very, very much, Charlie. Thank you, Andy. Bye bye.